Once upon a time, there was a girl who loved to enter contests. Her every waking moment was spent in thinking up soap slogans, identifying mystery personalities, and taking part in amateur talent shows. It was a fascinating way to spend her life, and there was only one thing wrong with it. Just once, I'd like to win a prize. At that moment, a strange little man appeared before her. Little lady, your troubles are over. I can fix it so you'll win every contest you enter. Hi. Well, let's just say that I'm an elf with magic powers and let it go at that. What's it gonna cost? Cost? Not a thing. You just agree to let me have your first child, is all. Yeah, but why do you want my first child? Looky. Oh, gee, can I walk a Bucky Boys camp? Right. And for every new camper, I get a cash bonus. Is it a deal? It's a <laughs> deal. Sure enough, at the next talent contest, the girl stuck plain straw into a box, cranked a handle, and out came spun gold. Of course, inside the box, the little man was doing all the work. He spun the gold in loops, braids, cable stitches, and actually finished off with a series of gold lace doilies. Naturally, the girl won first prize, a pearl-handled sifter. Then, with the little man's help, she won contest after contest. The number of beans in the jar is 8,426. Right. Yay! Some time later, the girl entered a drawing contest and for the first prize won a genuine life-size prince whom she soon married. Then, one day in a national Name the Baby contest, she won a beautiful baby boy. Of course, by the time they delivered him, he'd grown a little. Uh, hiya, Mom. Just then... Come in. Hello, hello, hello! My, isn't he the big one, though? Who are you? How could you forget? Looky here! Hoochie can I walk a Bucky Boys Camp? That's right! Summer season is just beginning! Yeah, but how do I get my child back? Easy, Princess. You just guess my name. Fred? No. Amy? Clyde? Beowulf? Bye-bye! No, this was one guessing game the Princess couldn't seem to win. Obadiah! Jethro! Throckmorton? Meanwhile, at Camp Ochi Kinawakabaki, the young Duke of Dunder grew into a spirited lad full of fun and mystery. No, no, no! Naughty, naughty! Mustn't blow up the counselor's cabin! Ouch! A year later, the little man took the Duke back home. Well, here he is, Your Highness. Brown as a berry. Yeah, but... It's Rumpelstiltskin, madam. Oh, nonsense. What kind of a name is that? Let's see, um, Orton, Holly? Honest, it's Rumpelstiltskin. R-U-M-P. Well, I'll give it some thought. You bring him back next year. The next year was a busy one for the princess. She was now so famous for winning contests that she began to make public appearances. She won the Miss Kingdom contest, Yay. she won the annual royal boat race, Yay. and she would have won the grand steeplechase, except that she pulled up lame in the Whoa. last hurdle. Meanwhile, her little son, the Duke of Dunder, had grown into a bonny lad, fun-loving and adventurous. That, that young fellow, that's not being a good sport. A year later, the princess heard another knock on the door. Who is it? You know, your highness, my name is... Newton! I just know it's Newton! It's Rumpelstiltskin! R-U-M-P... Norris! Orville! Fidel! No, no, it's... Well, I guess you'll have to take the boy back to camp. I can't, lady. Looky! Unemployed? Camp Ochikanawagabaki is no more. Uh, it burned down, Mom. But I still haven't guessed your name. Try me next year. The little man trudged sadly away, followed by the Duke of Dunder. But just then, the princess saw an announcement of the biggest contest of all, Mother of the Year. But to win that contest, she had to have... A child! Come back who? All right. Come back, Rumpelstiltskin. Right. Here you are, lady. He's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> and the little man slipped blithely away. Next day, the princess was on hand with her child for the Mother of the Year contest, but her heart sank when she saw who was to judge it. Well, look who's here. Mom, it's Uncle Rumpel. You want to win this contest, right? Right. You want him back again? Oh, no, no. All I want is a job for life, somewhere in the castle. Something easy, you know. How about royal caretaker? Sounds great. Good. Sign here. 
So the princess won the Mother of the Year award. She was the only contestant anyway, and the little man became royal caretaker. Okay, your highness, what do I take care of? Read the contract. Exclusive care of the Duke of Dunder. That's me. Oh, but this is terrible. How do I get out of this contract? Easy. Just live up to paragraph three. See, paragraph three. Oh, no. Is your name Mildred, Myrtle, Helen, Celia, Ethel? Thank <laughs> you.